This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about waxing plastic frames. I'm not a big fan of plastic frames, I'll make that known right from the start, but however, a lot of people use them and I use the plastic frames purely in my honey boxes. So I want to show you how I wax frames. I do quite a few um, and I've refined the system and if you notice I've got a girl coming in here because we've got the wax hot. So that's a thing that you need to think about. Generally I do all my waxing of frames at night. Around about 8 o'clock at night I come out here uh, into the shed and start working because the uh, bees are quite attracted to the hot wax. The equipment that I've got down here I have a box of frames. Over here I've got some empty boxes waiting for those frames once they're waxed. I've made a little stand here that will fit the frames. And you need to have them on a the frame on a solid base otherwise when you're rubbing the wax on the plastic distorts and you don't get a good even coating you can use either of these I like the slightly longer handled roller brush the 150 mil 6 inch one fits in here perfectly. So one run up there will wax that frame beautifully. Or you can use the 100 mil one and it takes then two coats. It doesn't really matter which. But you see how that sits on there. The other thing that I have to do is I've got a clamp. And I clamp that frame on there. So when I'm rubbing, it doesn't come off. I've got an old electric fry pan. Stole it off the wife out of the house. She got the new one, I got the old one. I've got an infrared temperature gauge. And I've found that when this is below one on the thermostat setting, it's around about 100 degrees. Between 100 and 110 degrees is what you want for waxing the frames. Now it's very important that you only wax one side at a time. So you wax one side, put it away in a box, do the next side. When you've got about four or five boxes done, then go back and start re-waxing the other side. The system that I use puts on 25 grams of wax per side or 50 grams of wax per frame. If you don't put on that much and get it into all the corners and such like, the bees don't like to draw it out, draw the wax and draw these frames out like they should do. The other thing, it's really important to put a pair of overalls on because this splatters. It doesn't hurt you but everything gets covered in wax. So I'm just going to show you how I wax and just going to do a couple of frames. So I immerse my roller in a bit of wax, dribble it off, put it on and roll that up to the top, back down again. One frame done. The next frame, just the same as the first. I'm not in a hurry to get it all done in half a minute. I just want them all done correctly. So I'll leave those. So you can already see on there 
how that wax is setting and I've got every part of that frame waxed in one go. Okay, so we're dribbling most of that wax off, put it on the bottom, give it a bit of a squeeze and you can see there's a little roll of wax in front of the roller. Take that right to the top, run it back down again. That's it, perfectly waxed. One more, the last one, put it on, roll it up, roll it back down. Just one thing, don't get the wax too hot. 100 to 110 degrees is plenty. Any more than that, and the trouble is the little plastic insert that's in these rollers falls to bits. I usually get about a box full of frames, about, about 10 boxes of frames, um, so that's 100 frames out of one roller. So it's not too bad economically. So I'll do about five boxes, then I'll go back and do them, do the other side. So that's it from Trev's Bees on waxing frames. See me on YouTube and Facebook, and we'll catch you around in the workshop or the beehive.